Well, uh, this'll never do. That's better. Hello, I'm Andrew. Welcome to the Ikaran Sector. And welcome to Sanguine Saint, part one. I guess I should explain what I'm doing here, really, shouldn't I? Um, I thought it'd be an interesting series for you to follow along with me um, as I build up Blood Angels. So I had easy to build intercessors. I've got these guys, what do I do? Well, I want to learn green stuff, which, to be honest, didn't turn out very well, but that's not the point. That's not the thing, well, do I do it for any of my chapters that I have? Or do I try something different? So I'll try something different. Flick through the book. Ah, which one is my fancy? Oh, I fancy picking up a blood angel. They look like fun. So I sprayed in black and I uh, did a zenith uh, on the highlight over the top with um, the spray version of Wraithbone. And then I painted in red. And I actually took a lot of time and spent some time getting him right, put a lot of detail in, did highlighting, edge highlighting, which I've never done before, um, tried to make the most of this cape, did a more detail on the bolter, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's probably the most detailed model I'd, I'd done up until this guy. So he's a blade guard ancient, which I chopped his hand off and give him just an ordinary bolter. So he's just a standard ancient, but this looks more um, Blood Angels than perhaps um, would have been for my other faction. So I thought, yeah, he's pretty cool. Let's do him up this way. Uh, change him up for a regular head, give him the bolt gun. And again, spent time putting detail on him, edge highlighting, um, going into more details on the back, spent um, you know, he, he took a few hours, he took a few hours. And so I was on the uh, DZTV Discord talking to a guy called Sultan who started up Blood Angels for that channel. And, uh, he, and I was thinking, I was thinking about making a video series about building them up. And he's like, do it. So here I am doing it. So the aim with this video series, it's going to be multiple parts. It's going to be me painting them up, going through um, learning about Blood Angels lore, because I know almost nothing about the Blood Angels. Um, so it's going to be exploring that. And it's trying to get as few boxes as possible to get to a thousand point list. And at the minute, I'm just going to stick with Primaris. And then after we get to a thousand, if the series is mm, of any interest, I will go through and um, look at adding some of the more Blood Angels specific units and having some fun that way, get up to 1500, get up to 2000. But first of all, we need to get to 1000 points. And at the minute, I have these two guys. Um, I don't know how, if I'm gonna keep him for anything or if he's just gonna be the first guy that was created. So also from the Indomitus box, I have spare base black, the Chaplain. Now, so this has been the learning technique so far. So these have been sprayed black and then just a zenith all across the, the top. And as you can see, there is a really sharp cutoff point where the red, um, fully enough, Blood Angel's red, the contrast paint, um, it really quickly changes colour. So I'm going to try something different. Obviously this guy is actually, Chaplin's usually black, but I'm going to have a, a bit of a play, get some reds on the pauldrons, uh, reds in these sections here. I want the um, match the sort of leathery color here. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to put um, the gray sear spray on the front and the back, and then the wraithbone highlight across the top, and then go over it again with um, the Templar black contrast and do it that way. So, first things first. Let's spray. And in the end, he's come up looking 
like that. Anything that will give me the transi smoother transition. They're sort of lighter, mid to dark. And on his legs and things there, and on the tabard on the front, which will probably be snakebite leather, again to match this one. So hopefully that transition, even though that's probably going to be back to black, will actually have a, a different sort of highlight underneath. So as you can see, tell, I'm not a very experienced painter, and I'm learning as I'm going along. So um, I'm going to block in some of the colours. I'll do um, a few bits and pieces uh, as I go along, and then hopefully we'll have a look at the finished model and then plans for where I'm going next. Okay, so far it's coming out quite well. Black Templar over the different shadings look quite good. I've tried a new test of using Apothecary White um, as a highlight. That seems to be okay. I might continue doing that one. The, uh, the red changing shades quite nice. I've put some there as well. It's got like a spot highlight there, which is pretty cool. So that's the uh, what he's looking at. So I need to do a considerable amount of highlighting. So a little bit more detail on his face. Sort the skull out here. Sort of details, highlights with some lights of gold. Some highlighting, maybe some lighter browns there. And sort out all of these wonderful things. So we'll keep going forward for now and see what we get to. All right, I think I've got him somewhere where I'm quite happy, apart from, I don't know if it'll zoom in fair enough. His eye, I messed that up and I'm not sure how to fix it. If anybody watching the video knows how to fix such things, give me some advice and suggestions because I want to learn. But um, yeah, so it's a bolt, absolver bolt pistol. I should probably put a little bit of um, Trachonos or all the purple on there to give it a bit of uh, heat wear. Yeah, there I am, basically happy with glowing red eye. Um, so now I've just got to do some basing. Uh, I've got some, do a little bit of mud around here and then the rest in a kind of uh, pavement as if it's sort of crossing over. And I've got some uh, grass like around there, sort of a bit similar to that. I mean, that's a bit basic, but it does the trick for now. Um, basing is something else I'm sort of learning as I'm doing. So that will be three models. So I have my chaplain. And I have uh, these two fellas here. So we'll do the rest of the basing and then we'll wrap the video up, I think. Oops. All right, I'm happy to call that finished, sort of a mixed mud and gravelly base. Done some washes on that. Got him. Focus up, still not happy with that eye, but this is a learning process, so get the three of them together. My entire Blood Angels army collection so far. So I think that just about wraps up the video. I'm not sure what's coming next or when it'll be coming. Um, so you're basically, as I keep saying all along, this is a learning process. I'm learning how to paint a bit more detailed. Um, each army I sort of produce, I get a bit more detail into it, a bit more thought behind it. So if you've watched it and you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you've got any suggestions for increasing my painting skills or things that I should try, um, please let me know. I want to try some stuff. Even if it's like a, a challenge, it's like, yeah, go for it. You know, Try doing this with this if you get this specific Blood Angels model or something like that. Uh, let me know which Blood Angels models I should be collecting. Um, I was thinking about Chromiris only at first, but with the possibility of marines going to two wounds. So regular death company, things like that. Um, scouts, although they're staying at one wound probably, but even Blood Angel Scouts could be quite interesting to fill up battalions and things and have some more special characters. Uh, so yeah, well, um, hopefully the music you've been hearing is something I've composed for uh, uh, this series to run in the background. Um, thank you for watching the Karen Sector. I'm Andrew, and uh, stick around for more videos. There's battle reports to come, there's this series, um, and I should think of up some more ideas. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.